What is good, you guys? My name is Mark Kachowski, and today I will be covering three pieces of equipment that have steadily and slowly uh, helped up my sound quality in my videos, whether that's in, for YouTube, whether that's for client and business videos, or maybe that's shooting a wedding. These are three pieces of equipment that, have, that I have slowly invested into over the years that have completely changed the way my sound sounds. My sound sounds? Yeah, I think it works. Let's get into this, folks. I know you want to cry. I don't wanna walk away, wait to be fast. So Say not too long ago, you just started shooting videos. And what you're hearing right now is the sound coming straight from the camera. And you're right, if you don't have any budget, if you're just starting off, sure, go ahead and use the sound coming straight from the camera. But as you'll notice the sound in this video getting progressively better and better as we add on different equipment, um, you'll notice that it's actually might not be the best thing to have for the long run. So the first thing that I would recommend is simply getting a shotgun mic. Right now I have the Rode Video Mic Pro and this thing does an incredible job. It runs on a little bit of a battery right here in this little compartment. Um, it's got an on and off high pass uh, switch. It's got a negative 10 and a zero and a plus 20 dB, which help you with your audio levels. But the moment that I got this and started using it in my vlogs and my videos, um, this has actually substantially changed my sound quality coming in from um, coming into my videos. And to be honest, for the quality that it's giving you, I think this is a very worthwhile investment and something that I think that if you cannot afford this, it's actually worth the time to be able to put away a little bit of money over time and save up for this mic. It runs at about $200 and it gives you some pretty tasty sound quality. So let's check it out. Right now, what you're listening to is the in-body mic. So check, check, check. You're listening to the in-body mic. So now what you're listening to is the Rode Video Mic Pro. It is attached to the top of my camera and goes right into uh, the side of my EOS R. Um, and I think this was a huge difference. Took that specific mic traveling all over the world on many, many different projects. It's, it lays in the back of my backpack pretty much at all times. Like if you were to find, if you were to randomly just come across me in some cafe and you're like, hey yo, I need a microphone right now. I'd be like, yeah, sure, I got one. Let me go ahead and check this. It's literally on me all the time. It's literally rustling in my backpack all the time. And it's, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with the durability of it. But that being said, I'm not here to advertise the specific Rode Video Mic Pro. What I am saying is that if you invest even into a cheaper onboard on camera um, shotgun mic, it's going to up your sound quality by by a good amount coming compared to your in-body microphone on your camera. So I would highly recommend saving a little bit of money to be able to uh, get your sound quality tasting pretty crispy and that will actually go a far way. You can do a whole lot with just having a microphone in connecting straight into your camera, um, a little shotgun mic action. So the second piece of equipment that I remember myself investing into was a little bit of a lav mic. This lav mic is the Tascam DR10. And honestly, it's this little thing that is super like travel friendly, super small, compact, and all you have to do is you attach this little clip-on mic. Jeez, wires everywhere, gosh. And the reason why I do like this um, and would consider this as a little bit of an upgrade over your shotgun mic on your camera is simply because you're actually getting pretty darn close to the mouth. And the closer that you can get microphones to the mouth, for the most part, are gonna sound much more crispy, clean, uh, and just have a better sound for the most part. Sweet, so right now I am recording on the Tascam DR10 and uh, let's do a couple little sound checks to jump between the two. I have it attached to my t-shirt right here. So right now you're listening to the Tascam DR10. Uh, this is the Tascam DR10 lav mic. 
And now cutting back to the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is the sound quality coming from the Rode VideoMic Pro. And now we're gonna switch back to the Tascam DR10. This is the Tascam little pocket DR10L uh, little lav mic. This is a pretty big asset to be able to put clip on a mic pretty close to the mouth uh, and be able to have very close intimate audio coming straight from your subject's voice. This price wise runs at about $200. It's about the same price as the Rode Video Mic Pro. So um, yeah, this is the quality that you're getting out of the uh, lav mic. So over the years, I've decided, hey, I think I could take my sound quality just a little bit up because sometimes the lav mic doesn't quite cut it. And sometimes the shotgun mic on my camera doesn't, isn't quite, doesn't get quite as close to my subject as I'd like to. So that being said, I invested, I saved up a little bit of money here and there and was able to invest into a Rode NTG4 Plus microphone. Um, this microphone runs at about $400 currently right now on uh, Sweetwater and b and And that being said, I am very, very just pleased with the quality of my sound um, coming from my shotgun mic. And this, this is a little bit of a boom mic. It hangs right outside of frame. Um, I'll get some up closer shots for you guys. But this is something that I'm very happy that I actually took the time to save up some money and invest in because it's absolutely changed how I shoot and film and record, especially talking heads and interviews, which in video, I think play a pretty big part in your production. It's your A roll, it's how your sound is coming through and it sounds really crispy in my opinion. And uh, this is awesome because I also recently invested into a little of a boom mic uh, or a boom stand and that thing projects this boom mic all the way out here so it can stay out of frame but it can get pretty close to my mouth or to the source of audio and that's a big part of audio that I keep also reiterating. The shotgun mic is great. It's gonna pick up some great audio, better than your in-body uh, microphone. Your lav mic is gonna get a hair closer to that and it's gonna sound a little bit more crispier and cleaner, but the boom mic up top, which is my little shotgun mic, the boom mic up, up top is absolutely a game changer. It's out of the frame, it sounds clean, it gets me my very, very nice um, dynamic sound coming in through that. Uh, and it's it doesn't have to be in the frame, which is a big deal. So here's a little bit of a test between the three and maybe in the comment section, you can let me know like, hey, which one do you actually prefer more? And maybe that might help you even on making a decision on which uh, piece of, e of equipment to invest into first. So here's the sound coming from the Rode VideoMic Pro. Now we're switching over to the Tascam DR10L. This is the Tascam DR10L. And now we're switching over to the boom mic right up top, which is my Rode NTG4 Plus. All of these options are gonna sound much better than your in-body mic, uh, but the Rode Video Mic Pro costs about $200. The Tascam DR10L costs about $200. And the Rode Video, the Rode NTG4 Plus is at about at $400 dollars approximately. I hope this helped you guys in one way or another. I know when I was first looking for microphones to up my sound quality, it was actually very difficult. There's so many options on the market and so many different ways to do this, but um, that's kind of my two cents and hopefully that kind of encouraged you, gave you some kind of direction um, as to where, what piece of equipment you should be investing into next that might yield the most for whatever you're shooting. Well, thank you guys so much once again. Um, I'm excited that we got to spend some time together here. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you wanna stay tuned. I'm trying to pump out more and more videos, trying to figure out how to do this YouTube thing. It's actually kind of, um, it's interesting. I There's a lot of figuring out to do, but I'm on that journey and we're getting there slowly, but surely. Guys, the comment section below is for us to have a discussion. So if you have any thoughts you wanna share or maybe you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave them below. I'd love to help in any way that I can. Otherwise, you guys, thanks once again and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.